Aspiration of medication into the RPD. The RPD can be held like a conventional syringe. The needle punctures the stopper of the desired vial, the aspiration plunger is depressed, and the RPD fills with the drug. Air bubbles are expelled by pressing on the injection plunger. When aspirating medications, the RPD can also be held in the pencil grip with the other hand operating the plungers. Musculoskeletal local anesthesia and nerve blocks. After the local anesthetic agent has been aspirated into the RPD, the needle is introduced into the tissues in a standard fashion. Prior to injecting anesthetic, the RPD is aspirated by pressing the aspiration plunger to assure extravascular positioning of the needle tip. If there is no blood return, the anesthetic agent can be safely injected by pressing the injection plunger. While alternatively aspirating and injecting, the finger positions do not change. Only the thumb moves from plunger to plunger, permitting precise needle control, less patient pain, and greater patient safety. The same technique is used for nerve blocks. The RPD can be used to directly inject medications into the joint. In this technique, the RPD is filled with the appropriate agent that could be local anesthetic, corticosteroid suspension, or hyaluron. The needle is slowly introduced into the joint space and the aspiration plunger is depressed to assure of no blood return and to assure of the presence of synovial fluid confirming interarticular positioning. The injection plunger is then depressed slowly to inject the medication.